Hello, it's week 13 of the Road to 100 interviews. I said that like a question, it's not. It's just a fact. <laughs> Yay. And I'm about to do number 89, interview number 89, which is with Patty Sullivan. And now I'm back to being pale. Can you hear me okay? I don't know if it's working. We lost Patty, you guys. Oh, no. So what have been some of the biggest changes in the television industry that you've seen, especially in terms of technology? I mean, look at what we're doing right now. Exactly. We couldn't yes. do this, right? We, we couldn't do this before. No. Um, I've been doing this for... How long have I been doing this for? And I, oh, 20 years or 20 so. 20 years or like so? 20 years or so, right? Like, tw or over 20 years now being in television. And when I started, you know, you were on beta. Like, it was analog stuff. And mm -hmm. now a lot of what we do, even here in, at ET Canada, is um, we do a lot of interviews like this. Mm -hmm. We create a lot of content on, you know, what's in your pocket. Like, that's really the biggest. In, obviously, the internet and... and um, that becoming the dominant way that people communicate mm -hmm. changed everything. But as far as we're able to tell stories, there's so many new ways to tell stories. TV doesn't have that kind of interactivity anymore with young no. people. And, and this was all before, you know, the internet and websites even existed. So we got actual mail that we opened yeah. physically. The mail drop. Right? I mean, it was so <laughs> different. We, we, we got in just under the wire of that whole social media craziness and i, I kind of like the fact that we had the ability to actually touch everybody's stuff and and hold it and open it and show it and you know we don't have that anymore hi annette yes i would love to do your blog it sounds like a, a great blog you might not have heard of sean before but he has a brand new show on CBC Gem called You're My Hero. And I was drawn to this show because Sean's in a wheelchair and he created the show, produced it, wrote it, stars in it, and it's awesome. And I'm not really adventurous when it comes to TV shows. Like, I don't like to try new things because it's like, oh, they're just gonna get canceled. But I'm like, no, I'm gonna watch this show. I am legit worried that You're My Hero might get canceled because it ended in a cliffhanger. And it's like, I need to know what happens. <laughs> and so one of my questions for Sean is, is there anything people can do to help make sure that there is a season two? Because like, again, I need answers. <laughs> I wish this show would have been on when I was younger so that I could have seen a character in a wheelchair that had, you know, similar awkward situations that I have. Um, because the only character that I saw in a wheelchair when I was growing up was Jimmy Brooks, a.k.a. Aubrey Graham, a.k.a. Drake, on Degrassi. It's just nice because then you realize that what you did made a difference, right? You always want your work to have a positive impact. Mm -hmm. So hearing from people and knowing that what we did had that effect is so important and so um, heartwarming. The next person on my list is Lindsay L. And as you might know, Lindsay was one of the co-hosts when I was a 2021 CCMA Ultimate fan. And I've reached out to Lindsay for interviews before and it hasn't worked out. But I am excited to go see her in June with Shania Twain. And I mentioned that. And so maybe if you tag Lindsay um, when I post this video, she'll see it and be like, oh yeah, I remember that person. And then maybe it'll work out. As I mentioned earlier, I don't watch a lot of TV, but I do watch Days of Our Lives almost like religiously. So the third person on my list is Robert Scott Wilson. For a long time, he played Ben Weston, but now he's playing Alex Kyriakis, and then he flipped back to Ben Weston. So I have questions. I want to know uh, what it was like to pull that off. I just wonder when I read the previews for Days, he said Stephanie gets back to Alex or Chad or somebody. Yes. Okay, I'll just turn my video off. I don't think they want to know about days. <laughs> I remember I did the picture on brown paper because that was the thickest paper I had at the time. And I didn't want the markers to leak on my table. And I thought, oh yeah, he's going to be so impressed with this. <laughs> He'll just, just want to do an interview with me. And <laughs> that did not that did not go anywhere at all. But I have I have adapted... And I have better paper and better materials now, Robert. I can do it.